Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father, Kevin. Today, when this is posted, it should be October. The leaves are falling. It's a spooky season. Yes. Uh, so, you know, doing a little more of a spookier album, Metro Boomin. Metro. Metro, what, can you, Metro. what can you say? What more can you say, really? We've talked about him many times in videos. He's uh, what, And speaking of spookiness, what is he great at? Oh, those dark chords. Those, yeah. I won't even say it. Those because, creepy yeah, chords. Yeah, I won't say it because it's Kendrick had said it, but the yeah. A minors. The A minors. He's yeah. really good at the minors, right? <laughs> That's uh, yeah. No, he's great at that. This project came out in 2017. It made a lot of noise. It was a very popular project at the time. I was in high school, just finishing high school, I think. It is a collaboration project with uh, Offset, 21 Savage, and Metro Boomin. Uh, early, on, not early on in Metro's career, but earlier. Then he went to Not All Heroes Wear Capes, Savage Mode, Heroes and Villains, and yeah. then the, the new shit that's, you know, We Don't Trust You, like yeah. crazy, and Spider-Man soundtrack. So he's been doing a bunch of stuff. So it's kind of nice to go back, listen to some of his older production. And it's creepy time. It's Halloween time. Yeah. It's It's... You know, time to, to get a little spooky. So track number one, Ghost Face Killers. Oh, yeah, you've got the timing of this. It's a little creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. It's crazy. I would know Metro now, like production wise. You yeah, unless, hear he, it. unless he did a total twist on me. Yeah. Yeah. Kim Jong, yeah, big bomb. Wonder bread, man, make your bitch lick crumb. Yeah. Out of my pocket, flooded, got my wrist numb. Link, grab the hit stick, nigga, trying to blitz some. These watch companies should be getting paying these guys. Yeah. 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 Every time they talk about watch. Everybody the same. All these niggas sound like dick. Fox boy on my mobster. Shrimp in my pasta. Jamaican dun da da. Hang round the shot tub. Mad bass nigga. I like the shrimp in my pasta. Yeah. Planet of the From the heaven straight in the wild yeah. Trunk in the front top Got a slide Traffic with you You know how they the ceiling, pop the bin, Didn't that, make it too reverb for him He's kind of in he, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 Offset was way out there yeah, yeah, yeah. In space Broke you ain't us We don't speak that language On the dive yeah CPR my pipe yeah Please need the energy Only CPR got my night, pipe Yeah Thank <laughs> you boys We don't do three strikes Love, I, I just love his production. Everybody was great on that. Oh yeah, everybody was great. Well, what I wanted to say is like you know, there's sometimes Travis Scott will like hop on a song and like that section of the song turns into a Travis Scott song. You know it, what I mean? Like it the didn't vibe. Care. Like yeah. it, it, it'll be like a, a pretty straightforward mix, and then Travis comes in and it's just this wide open reverb it's, vocal. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, they didn't do that for him, which I liked. He was like kind of like right in the in your ears. Offset Did, was in that world. A little bit, a little yeah, bit, but, but he had more verb. But they were they were all on an equal playing field, like in terms of mixing, and yeah. I, I like that because Travis can can rap. Like I love when Travis like actually goes in and, and spits some 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 bars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you know, as much as I love the psychedelic kind of spacious stuff that he does, yeah, uh, when he, you know just locks in and does a uh, you know, like a, a good verse. It's, yeah, uh, you can't beat it. Starting off the album dark. Very, Tone. very dark, and you know those, those, those big dong, dong, dong. Yeah, they picture me. I, I picture like London churches. Yeah, those that, and that's again. There's that dark. Twenty one. He's British, right? Yeah. It's, oh yeah. yeah oh, so oh, I maybe, wonder. Maybe is maybe that there's a secret connection that was like the fucking London bells, church bells. I don't wow. Know. I don't know. I didn't. I, wow. Anyway, let's keep going. Track number two, rap saved me. It's featuring Quavo, so he's uh, another member of Migos, if you remember. Yes. Oh, 
gang bang. She took a zany, yeah. And she fainted, yeah. Yeah, I love 21 in small doses like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I'm not crazy about, like, his full records, but, like, when he's mixed in with other people, like, yeah. the, the one with Drake he did, I, I like that. Beat you just a nut, baby, we are not dating. My tank top to venture love, bitch, I'm not basic selling I just got the, the nut one, the nut line. Yeah. I like, I like, I like the, the, the kick. Bounce, yeah. bounce on his, on Quavo. <laughs> I love the underbelly of that track. Yeah. Do you hear what kept going on there? The I, whole I, time. This yeah. is where I, I, I'd, I'd love to hear this one stripped down without the vocals. Yeah, I don't know if he has an instrumental version of this album. I know Metro has been doing that lately with the new but ones. Not with this, right? But I don't know if he did with this. I'm yeah, sure it's yeah. out there somewhere. Yeah. Someone's probably remade it like perfectly because it's been out for a while. But, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the production on that and 21, like I was saying, I'm like not the biggest 21 fan. Like I, I don't listen to his full projects um, and I'm like not not super into them like the one that he dropped that had j cole on it like there's some songs on there that i enjoyed uh, i think i am greater than i was uh, is the title but when he's collaborating with people i really yeah, like yeah. 21 savage because he brings some funny bars and that like monotone flow yeah um you just talking about his uh 21's his the, his, the, the pacing yeah it fits that, perfectly that, that, for that metros dark, the dark darkness it, yeah, yeah. It, it, that's why they've they've made uh multiple it goes projects together really well together yeah At track number three Rick Flair drip. I just love these fucking I know. Flying on the water like a jet ski, yeah. I'm trying to fuck you on your bestie, yeah. Drop up with this girl, so do not test me, yeah. Rick Flair drip, go woo on a bitch. Get the 790s, spit the coupe on my wrist. Multi-million dollar, I'm a fool with the hits. Notice how he changes things on the beats and yes. just kind of keep it moving. Yeah, exactly. That keeps it excited, yeah. right? You're going right there. Then bring back. And then, like everything, every part has a change. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good skirt. See, I, I, for me, I did not get the Ric Flair thing because I, I don't follow with wrestling at all. Uh, so I was like, well, he's got drip. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you need to know. Yeah. Another watch reference. Yeah, I would just, there was many in here already. Yeah, in yeah. This song. So there's. I wonder on this whole album how many watch and jet skis there yeah. are. Such a good that. melody. If I made that, oh, I I I just, could die happy. Just that part. Mm -hmm. It's you know that's a that it's a piece piano piece organ and something else in there. It's like yeah, all three layered, right? Uh, it sounded like some I don't know like where he gets his sounds from. I don't know if he uses Omnisphere two or something like that, or if he's got his own. He's probably got his own fucking or builds them right. Builds maybe, yeah. synths or Synth, something. Yeah, I have yeah. no idea honestly. Oh, this is twenty seventeen, so maybe he was using Omnisphere. Um, but great, great track. Is this the biggest track on the album? Yeah, for yeah, number yeah, because yeah. you you you've. As soon as I heard that and I ran in the house, I'm like, what is this? Well, it was, I was just hitting clubs at this time. And, you know, this was like every club was playing this like multiple times a night. Yeah. Because it's <laughs> short. It was just like one of those ones that like yeah. everyone would, would turn up and they'd, did, they'd say the go woo on a bitch every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, could, I, I just want to read that one part because Ric Flair, it's a, a, there was a, there's a nod to like a cool thing. Offset pays his respects seeing as he, uh, Oh, and he uses Ric Flair's trademark woo 
as an ad lib, most notably in um, Bad and Bougie. And uh, the two, mm. yeah. So any idea? I didn't. I, and oh, since dropping the song, it appears the two have also developed a friendship. They filmed the official music video together, which I haven't seen. And Offset later wished Rick a happy birthday via Instagram. Yeah, oh, sweet. there's a picture of them. Oh, cool. Oh, so he had some flash. Look at it. Nice. No, I, yeah, I've seen uh, yeah, pictures. Yeah. He's uh, he's got the drip. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought he might have had a nasal problem. So. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank yeah. Thankfully, no, it's not that. Track number four. Show you how to fit a hundred bags in a duffel. When it bought a demon, nigga, just a burn rope. Nigga, I ain't I love that. Songs, that that white fucking super I'm tight. Nigga's dogs, and we like to fight, don't it? The blue lights on you. <laughs> Hang around a lot of gang banging ass niggas. Crip blood, blue. See, there's this change you just spoke it. about. Yeah. Big space change to make the song just feel like it has momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Think I'm slipping just because yeah. a nigga grab Sounds like somebody's dragging a bag of something. Yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. Moving a body around in a bag on sand. <laughs> Another switch. Feel like Jason Friday 13th. It's the thirteenth today. That's freaking me out. I'll pause there because I like that. I, I I actually I really like that one. Yeah, I was a, I was a chill one. The rest of the album is like all the songs are pretty short. Like since after Ric Flair drip, I don't think there's one that's over three minutes. Like the rest is just two minute, like quick kind of quick yeah, yeah, bangers. Yeah. Um, but the snare for me is like the highlight. Track five, Nightmare. That's great. I need the cash on pronto, nigga, a lottery ticket. I get the best of the bundle, full of the white like it's Iggy. Freddy Krueger, give him a nightmare. Soon as you close your eyes, nigga, we right there. I like this guy yeah. as well. Give him a nightmare. Run up a bag of million cash. You cover your body in jail. Fuck a no thought, but don't go for the plus. I'm fucking this bitch on film. Come on, you don't see him. Black clothes, black hoodie, and Tim. Get the Mac today. Listen to that background. Whack today. Whack, pull up and catch a race. Yeah. Then gone. Give him a nightmare. Soon as you close your eyes. Yeah, I love this record for its. Halloween themes and it's yeah. it's such an October record for me like late night October driving yeah. around yeah. we'll have to do that tonight <laughs> after yeah. we eat some turkey yeah. yeah but turkey makes you sleep so yeah can I start this one I know I've listened to this album a hundred times wow I've listened to the album a lot but yeah, I yeah. want to start by saying Metro, I don't know if you're watching or not. You've liked one of our Instagram reels and you follow us on Twitter. So maybe you're watching. I have no idea. But I need a Metro Boomin instrumental album that is not the instrumentals taken from an album. Like a, a full like instrumental album. Like, yes. Like a fucking Brian Eno type thing. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. Like, oh, like, man. Or like, you know, he goes in and, and makes it just instrumentals it's not meant for like rappers can jump on afterwards but but just make, make the, it yeah, instrumental i totally first. agree i would love that so metro yeah. if you are watching please uh i will sell my soul to no i won't well, do that, that could be that could be the name of it so <laughs> connor sells his soul no just sell sell, sell my no, soul i won't sell my soul but i would i would very be very happy if that ever happens at some point in your career um yeah, but anyway, you but you, go. No, uh, I was just gonna say, like that whole that piece there at the end. He's added. Yeah. He's ended two songs on such really cool little melodic, creepy things. Well, those are throughout the song. They're they're in there. They're like, in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You but, just you hear them at the end. Yeah, but yeah. They're what make the song so I don't know, just creepy. Yeah, I, I like it. Track number six, Mad Stalkers. I'm from out the gutter, middle fingers, I'm sick, sick, turn 16, then I got my first stick, man, 90, fuck the other side, catch a body, send it, hit, 20, you call that shit a stinted clip, we call that bitch a dick, 20, bitch, I'm mad, follow, I got mad dick, turn these hoes in a mad stock, all set, Mad Max with me, I'm beat, Mad Max, gonna do the Drake, but we got C, C, what's an all on your bitch face, make the bitch play with my kids, take a strip shot, that's nasty, baby bottles ain't no bitch, I bust on her face, make her play with my kids. That's a fucking. That's something like sounds like Twenty One would say that, but <laughs> maybe that was ghost written by uh, Twenty One. <laughs> Does mad dick mean he's like a like crazy dick? His dick's good. Yeah. Oh, his dick's good. Okay. And the girls like it so much that they oh, stalk him. I thought it was like his dick is like got anger issues no, no. or something. 
Yeah, yeah, that's just a tag. <laughs> but how, yeah, they got Future to do it. Crazy. That's his tag. Yeah, Future does the tag. Oh, he. That's right. He does. The Young Thug does a couple too, though. That's okay. Some nasty bars on there. Yes. Uh, surprisingly, from Offset, I, I, you know, you expect that. In Twenty One. I'm ready for like some, yeah. some, you know, mad horny stuff. But, uh, yeah, the the plane with with my kids line uh, after busting on her face <laughs> is uh is is pretty wild. I mean, it's funny. It's just clever too. But like, uh, <laughs> you know, people complain a lot. Um, with uh women rappers uh and they say oh they always talk about their pussy too much and stuff you know mm -hmm. like uh, I, I can't listen to fucking uh whoever you know Nicki minaj because she's talking about her pussy yeah um or doji cat or whoever you know uh but fucking to me i'd much rather hear about uh Nicki minaj's pussy than offset coming on some woman's face <laughs> to just talking real descriptive about her playing with the semen like that's you know you, you feel me oh yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. like i would much rather listen to wop you know and it's like i got a wet ass pussy like okay cool you know or whatever like that's still to me it's, yeah yeah, yeah. It's a, visually it's a little nasty but like <laughs> I, i'm gonna take that over over that line there track number seven disrespectful I'm a gang banging, chain swinging, chopper tones. I don't see this nigga drill. St. Laurent pistol. Gucci on my nipple. Not right on her nipple. Y'all nigga with them ears. See what I mean? Yeah. It's a little too horny for me. None of y'all bitches ain't special. Nah. You can build a bell. Fuck it, I'm finna build a thigh. Yeah, ice on nigga, nice light side. Was that nigga, was that Build a Bear like the place on the mall? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a reference. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, but say, yeah. Like, you can build a bear, fuck it, I'm gonna build a thought. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was robbing, but I'm fucking with the mic. I didn't go in five, turn you to a cold cut, nigga. Say you want a pint, I flex him with the road touch, nigga. Turn you to a cold cut is a, another, like, yeah. fucking dark line. I don't switch sides, nigga. Got that whack. You know I'm a dog, you know I'm a hunter, and when I got pressure. Okay, I nothing on the nipple. The pickle. Oh, pickle. Gucci on my pickle. On his wiener? Oh, okay. I think so. Okay. Not right on her nipple. Keep your mouth closed, bitch. I might bless you. Yeah, you know, nothing on a nipple. I feel like is you gotta have some good accuracy, because a nipple is small. Usually. Yeah, you probably cut. Yeah. I mean, depends on the nipple. Everyone's got different nipples. And the load. And how much you're shooting. Yeah, but yeah. like, you know. At my age now, I just get a... Yeah, it's just tiny. So you got to really make sure your aim is <laughs> yeah, like on point yeah. if you're going for a nipple. Yeah, if you're going for a full spray. Yeah, if you're like, you know, uh, you know, a young kid. <laughs> I like, don't believe like, we're talking about this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> if you're a guy my age, you know, you can like aim for the nipple because you're spraying it like a fire hose. But <laughs> you're disgusting. Anyway. I don't, that's one thing I don't want to hear. What? You spraying like a fire hose. That's... Oh, but I can hear you fucking shooting a tiny little dust load. <laughs> dust? How do you know it's dust? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Poof. Um, Poof. Not much I have to say with that track. That's one I'm not crazy. I think there's the, the ending of this record. Oh, well, I won't say much. That, yeah, yeah. There's a couple songs I like, but I, I, that one's like I'm all right with. Yeah. Um, the production is the highlight for me. Um, I don't know. What do you, how do you feel the same? Or are you different? It was okay. Yeah, no, yeah, it, lyrically it wasn't. It, yeah, yeah. There wasn't much, uh, you know, Gucci on my pickle, uh, right, uh, not right on. Like her some funny lines, but like Offset didn't do his like like the last track where Offset really went off was great. Yeah, like he was fucking really spinning. Yeah, yeah. And the reversing twenty one was good in the last one. This one was just okay to me. So we'll, we'll keep going. Track eight, run up the racks. Yeah, we're haunting already, man. There's someone coming in right now with a butcher knife. <laughs> Fuck, I love that left hi hat. Yeah. Right there. It tickles the ear. It's going on both sides. Two different hi hats, if you notice. Is that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Was, oh yeah, now we go. Yeah, yeah. Now we're steady. Oh, he's got going now. He's got two so hats. Double, and, yeah. And, yeah. And, and different. You know what? That's a real talent. And I, I took away lyrics for this one. I'm just fucking. I could feel it. I just want to just vibe to it. It's such a good beat. Yeah. 
is that Metro has done so much music, but he keeps them fresh. Yeah. They're, they are, I have to say, they are fresh. It doesn't sound like a repeat. No. And it also ages very well, I'd say. Like, you, this, is 20, this is from, what, years of 2017. And it still sounds like it could have came out today, you know? Yeah, listen to these. Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. <laughs> See, uh, I could die this. happy just doing this piece right here. I wonder if Metro. Okay. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Metro gets uh, horny. Horny. No, no. I wonder if he gets. I know he 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 recites quite a lot from the Bible and stuff. Yeah. And I wonder if he gets a lot of the ideas from the sound from like. Uh, like old churches and shit like that because mm, there is a lot of that like it reminds, in, well, in this record specifically yeah yeah. Re yeah reminds me of this one reminds me of like a medieval graveyards london churches yes, churches yeah. and all that well, well it is a halloween theme it came out on halloween there's lots of halloween references. okay yeah so that's yeah, so yeah, so it so kind of makes sense that makes sense yeah metro's beat on that was just fucking killer Kill especially it. the ending where it's just like he plays the beat by itself but yeah let's keep going track nine still serving Drinking all this act, it got my vision real blurred. <laughs> my uncle just turned 49, and he still serves. Yeah. I ain't never been no bitch, 21. and I stand up when I piss. <laughs> BBS is all on my wrist, my nigga White Stone just to match my chain. Sometimes I, I like to sit down when I piss. Like, so late, late, late night? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I have to tell you, I'm loving the fucking bidet. Cost. Yeah, we got a bidet recently. There's nothing like cold water right on your asshole. I have to say, we were, you, we were talking about earlier. I like to hear. Them two, two, threes gonna make his face. What, like a change? That's why I like. I like Offset on this project. Yeah, when he comes in, but I feel like it's more. 21, I don't know what the percentage is, but 21 seems to have a lot of the. Yeah. It, to me, Offset's just a lot more fun on this track. Yeah, I, I just took it. Yeah, like 21 kind of slows it down. I'm, I don't know, I'm not crazy about this track, but I like Offset on here. That was, that, his bar there was fantastic. Do you mind if I start? Go ahead. Yeah, go go nuts. Oh, no, I just wanted to say, yeah, that one's... Uh, I remember that one now. Uh, one that I don't go back to. And uh, I find, like I said, I'm not a big fan of 21, um, like solo. And I feel like he kind of really slow... I mean, the beat itself was kind of slow-paced. It's yeah. probably not one of my favorite. It's probably my least favorite on here in terms of Metro production. The redeeming quality to that track to me was was Offset. Yeah. Um, I thought he was great. Um, and... Yeah, he brought life to the track for sure. Yeah, it felt like a very slow pace. Like, okay, where is this kind of going? It's all right. It's yeah, decent. Yeah. And then Offset comes in. You're like, okay, I, I, my attention is back on. Yeah. Uh, and then you drop off again. And, and I think his bar is also his attention. But the the, the, the reason I caught his attention was his, like his voice good was different. Lyrics. Too. Good lyrics. Yeah. Really, really good so lyrics. You feel the same. But I totally feel the same. Yeah, I totally feel the same. And I, I do think that was. And I love Metro. I think it was one of the weaker uh, the, there, the yeah. instrumentals. Yeah, for sure. Uh, right. Track number ten. Darth Vader. I'm liking 21's verse here. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. Oh, he's getting a little introspective. That's here, exactly. Yeah. Showing some vulnerability. Yeah, I think 21 had the the better performance on that. Uh, yes, I thought he was. Yeah. I thought it was great. I thought it was like not not my favorite beat 
on on the record. Yeah. Um, like I think it's definitely one of the lower tier ones. Um, uh, but it's it's still solid. Um, yeah, yeah. My thing with this record is I feel like the first like half six songs just fucking are killer. Yeah, yeah. The last four, mm, all yeah. right, decent. Um, but you know, for a surprise release on Halloween, um, yeah. Can you really complain? Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. Yeah. I know, and like the production is is so good. Um, yeah, I wish you were into hip hop at the time it came out because it was an exciting time. Like people were like freaking out, like what the fuck, like holy shit, it's fucking. Halloween. Yeah, well, because Metro was actually, I'd say Metro's more popular now, honestly. But he was still one of the bigger producers back then. Yeah, and uh, Twenty One was kind of up and coming uh, with his like he was pr- not new, but like. People were just starting to tune in. This him. was like surprise, surprise. There was no teasers and yeah, shit like that. Nothing. No it was just dropped. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it was just dropped. Wow. Uh, on Halloween, and uh, it was just like a great. I think that's why. It, the, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's why the title is called "Without Warning." Oh, it's okay. Just, yeah, yeah. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Anytime listening to Metro, I have fun because I just would love to dive. I'd love him to do what's it called where everybody's doing it now. I would. I, I would. I haven't bought one yet, but uh, mixing with the masters. Oh yes, an episode. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm like fucking so close to buying the Jack Antonoff. I, one. I, the, the, I saw the Jack Antonoff one and the Dan, um, the I grow. I go, yeah. Um, but uh, if Metro did it, I would. The money would be down. Yeah, I would buy and that episode. Metro, uh, this is directed to you. If you're ever in Vancouver, we would love to have you on the podcast uh you have i don't know how many questions you'd want to ask him probably uh probably too much maybe he would just be intimidated like, like, <laughs> maybe like, he'd be annoyed okay yeah, annoyed yeah actually yeah. never mind sorry we take that back yeah, uh, yeah, yeah my dad will leave the room uh and i will will sit down and then he can he can watch from a distance you yeah. can watch the episode after after it's done but you know what i'll do i'll do because i won't ask the questions i'll do like they do on the on the on the, the shows i'll get those big white pieces of paper and with the marker and I'll yes say, yeah you hold them yeah, up you ask the question can you yeah, ask yeah, yeah. yeah take care guys we'll see you soon much love. Peace. Ciao.